Welcome, my little ponies, to Ask Ponies. Celestia, what are you doing here? Whatever do you mean, Luna? I'm here to host the Ask Ponies Luna episode. I was informed that Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash hosted this series. Well, when I heard that they were asking princesses to be on their adorable little show, I inquired about it, and they asked me to host. Twilight informed me of the volatile nature of the comment section, and I feared it would be too much for you to handle on your own, little sister. Or you were offended that you weren't their first choice for Alicorn Princess guests, so you infiltrated their video and sent them away. Luna! How could you think I would do? Ha! Joke's on you! It's safer up here! Good luck with the comment section! Hey, Dashi! Look how high I can bounce! Whee! This is temporary, correct? Uh, sure. Princess Luna... Is Princess Celestia is prettier than you? Nonsense. My sister is regally beautiful, and I would never dare to compare myself to her. The question was to me, sister, not you. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, of course. I guess I just got super protective of you, Luna. That would have been a useful trait to have 1,000 years ago. Princess Luna. Celestia did your job for one zero 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 years. So, are you sure that you are really needed? <sighs> my sister raised the moon. That was the extent of my duties she performed. Try as she might, she was unable to unlock the secrets of the realm of dreams. So, for one thousand years, ponies were plagued by their nightmares, including her. I... I just don't understand... We don't even wear clothing, but I was still so aware that I was naked in front of the classroom. The taunting and laughter of my peers, it was relentless. Oh, I'm so happy you're back, Luna. Princess Luna, what did you do when you were on the moon? I... I'm not ready to answer this question. Then you don't have to. So many comments have asked about it, and so many ponies have speculated and wondered. I have to answer it. They deserve the truth, Tia. Just not yet? Of course, Luna. Let's move on to something else, then, shall we? To Princess Luna, what would be like to have a third sister? We couldn't possibly know what you are talking about. No, no, of course not. <laughs> Goldie and Trixie, though. I know! They were totally a thing before, right? Oh, totally. Princess Luna. In an alternate universe, what if Celestia became jealous and became Daybreaker and used the elements of harmony to banish her in the sun? <laughs> what a silly question! I can't think of any scenario that would make that a reality. Oh, really? You're saying you can't be jealous of me? That's not what I said. I can think of a couple of reasons. Such as... Mom and Dad told you all your life how important a job it was to raise the sun so that you wouldn't get jealous of the fact that I can control millions of suns that you all perceive as stars. That's absurd! You don't think I can? You raise the moon, not move the stars. Watch me. What in the... Our... Are you seeing this, Rare? Oh, I think they're spelling something. Celestia has a giant... Oh, my. Does that say... Ass. It says ass. Right. Hi, Applejack! Hi, Rarity! 
Princess Luna, what did you do when you were on the moon? This again? I wonder if that's ever happened before. Well, thanks to you, we can't very well ask Pinkie Pie or Rainbow Dash about it, can we? Luna, who's the best princess? You can't choose yourself. <laughs> Whatever is the matter, sister? Are you worried that I would not choose you? Dispense with the mockery, Luna. I'm already aware that you favor another over me. I just don't have to be happy about it. Hey, yep. He would rule with a quiet dignity, and the rest of us would stare in awe at the wondrous kingdom he created. <sighs> Dear Princess Luna, what are Discord's dreams like? I only visited them once, and never again. Oh? Why is that? Oh, hello, Fluttershy. Oh, um, hello, Angela. I guess so. Are you oh, sure? Oh, I love your pet. Oh, oh I love your pet, too. It's so cute. You all right? Of course, Fluttershy. Oh, my. Oh, um... Excuse me. Uh, Discord? Perhaps we should have a talk about obsession and boundaries. Did you say something, Fluttershy? Fluttershy? I'm not. Ah, <gasps> uh, yes, that does sound terrifying. You have no idea. Princess Luna, what did you do when you were on the moon? Incessant, aren't we? Princess Luna, are you gay with Princess Slectit? I can't decide if that's offensive or not. Are we allowed to say teat? You do know what they were trying to say, right? That you have a crush on a female alicorn, <laughs> which is true. What? I do not! But you told me you were into some pony called online gaming. That's not a... <sighs> I'll casually game online, Tia. That's not the same thing. It's all right, Luna. Some couples are casual at first, but they grow more serious over time. You're mocking me, aren't you? Princess Luna, uh, how did you and your sister get your hair? I mean, it's so mauvey and wavy and sparkly. Well, there's a, a funny story about that. I certainly don't find it humorous. You see, Lucinda, my sister here failed to tell me that though alicorns are immortal, their bodies still age. But our magic is powerful enough to keep us looking young. It just can't compensate for our hair eventually falling out, so we upgrade to these new and better magic-made manes and tails. See? We can even turn them on and off. Well, it's little comfort for some pony who aged 1,000 years over the course of season one. Your body was just catching up with itself. And by the way, you look much better this way. Perhaps we should show them our true forms. Don't you even think about it. Too late! Me damn it, Luna. Priceless Luna, where were you during Candace and Shining Armor's wedding? Actually, that's always bothered me. I made sure to invite you, Luna. I even had a gown made. Well, I didn't want to be present for the exam. It felt like it was cheating. The what? Well, you had given Twilight Sparkle many tests to prove herself to you already. And we both knew the end goal was for her to become a princess and take our places. So it was only fair that I gave her one as well. It's true, she failed my first test, but the day was saved regardless. Your test? You let Chrysalis in? We really ought to get rid of the villain pen pal program. She seemed so much less dangerous in scroll form. But Equestria could have fallen. You left us all vulnerable to destruction, Luna. You mean like you did when Nightmare Moon returned and you were nowhere to be found? 
or when you summoned back the Empire prematurely, because Twilight's failures at the wedding had you worried she could not fulfill your intentions? How about we just never talk about this again? Agreed. Princess Luna, what did you do when you were on the moon? So, it's come to this, huh? The last question. The final burden. Lifted at last. You don't have to talk about it, Luna. No, it's all right. It's time the truth was known. I just hope you can handle it. I've made it with you this far, haven't I? Go on, then. Well, I didn't really spend any time on the moon, per se. What? Of course you did. Your visage was so clearly imprinted on the moon's surface. Right. My body was there, but- I saw it every night. The guilt of it ripped me to shreds. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. And whenever I did, I, I was just plagued with all sorts of nightmares. I was Nightmare Moon. So you understand that I couldn't very well give ponies good dreams. Wait, you were still roaming the realm of dreams? All that time? Just because you're on the moon doesn't mean you don't dream, Tia. So all those dreams, the ones where I was standing in front of a classroom naked? I thought it was pretty funny. Or the time I was being chased by a giant piece of cake? And the times that I thought I overslept and didn't raise the sun and every pony was angry with me? I had plenty of time to get creative. Besides, they say that nightmares help you deal with deep-seated problems in the long run, so... You couldn't have been asleep the whole time! No, that is true. In my waking hours, I conjured food and mooned strange human metal contraptions that liked to take my picture. Pinkie Pie once told me the humans claim they made it onto the moon's surface. That's a lie, just so you know. I can't... I, I just... Luna? We need to have a private discussion now. I don't think they ended the show. Do we have to do it? Well, I don't see any pony else willing or able. Not since Twilight had a complete meltdown. Shouldn't we try to get Pinky and Dash off the moon first? Um, but how do we do that? I mean, the princesses ought to know, right? Wonderful! Then you two track them down, and in the interim, I will host the next Ask Ponies. Uh, no pony asked you to do that. I suppose I'm just generous like that. <clears throat> All right, every pony, our next guests, plural, will be Octavia Melody and Final Scratch, also known as DJ Pon 3. Please leave a question for one or both of them in the comments section. But be advised that you can only ask one or both of them once. Let's not spam the comment section. Hmm? Oh, and read the rules, of course. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, darlings. Princess Luna, do you still walk in Pony's dreams? Since you retired, does someone else do it? I would never allow any other pony to carry that burden. You see, the depths of the horrors I have seen linger in the darkest reaches of Pony's innermost thoughts. They worm their way into your very core and can scar you, even long after they are gone. Don't be so dramatic. She had a thousand year break and that was a lot like retirement actually, so I let her keep that job. Keeping this job ensures that no pony else ever has to face the darkness the way that I have. I am a martyr for the precarious peace amongst us all! What did I tell you? So dramatic. <laughs>